feeling like I gotta get it right now Moving like a killer in the darkness out of sight now On another level so the devil wanna fight now Growing up dirt broke but it's looking bright now Bitches on the pipe now with the dick right now But I can't fade taking shots with the sight down Uh yeah, I could've died that day, but I guess God don't ride that way. Chillin' in the cup, getting high all day. With a couple bad bitches, I'ma do it my way. Driven by the way that I be living, everything I got, I'm giving. Why you think they can't do it like me? Uh, I'ma get high. What's good people, welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're on a bit of a road trip. We're just out in Marston at the moment with Johnny here and Guyu here. So we're heading over to Castle Point but we're just kind of taking a bit of a pit stop at the moment just to buy some food and just chill for a bit. A couple of days ago, right, check the weather. Castle Point weather looked good and I've been wanting to go there for like the last year because I went a year ago but haven't been back since. So I hit up Johnny and Guyu, they were both keen. So two days later, here we are. <laughs> Just made it in the castle point. Oh wow. Got a, uh, got a what? Got a cap. A cap? Yeah. Yeah? Please. I got one in my bag. I mean like a cap to take <laughs> Yeah, I got one. Oh, Don't worry. I got you. I'm just, I'm just wondering what these boats are for, because like last time I came here they were there, right? It's like, do these boats just sit here or what? No, they stand here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they, they work or what? Because these wheels are fucking huge, man. This is like almost the size of me. Holy shit. It's almost as big as my brain. Oh fuck. Just got smoked. Let's look at the landscape of the place just oh it's beautiful man it's beautiful we're about to go check out the lighthouse take a few photos just have a look around then after that, there's just like this huge cliff that i've been wanting to hit for the last year ever since i came here last time and today's finally the day we'll show you guys that soon because it's, it's fucking ginormous man that's the cliff up there holy shit place is so nice man do you notice when we were up there before when you were like taking photos of me there's this like chick that was like maybe over like here she's just like looking at me just giving me strange looks People don't get it. Really? Yeah. No, I don't notice. Is she hot? She's a mother, so oh, could, could be enough. keen. <laughs> I've seen some strange looks, man. Cause I was literally just like posing and she was just like standing like like maybe a meter away, like on that platform, just like looking at me, just like cracking up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rude bitch. I'm just trying to shoot some content, man. Holy shit. Nearly slipped. Well, like the Jesus Christ. Just watch the footing. It'll be slippery at some point. We've um, come to the conclusion that it's just far too dangerous to risk going down there, so we're just backing out of it now. <laughs> it's too slippery man and I'm not risking fucking slipping off this shit. <laughs> that could literally just break under you and you'd be falling. Just don't fall. <laughs> the number one rule is just don't, just don't fall. See, don't like, fall see like if that one Oh there, just don't fall and you'll be break. right. That one did look like it would break. So what we have over here is a rare case of the Bigfoot's uh, foot. Jesus Christ. His front half of, his, of the bottom of his foot has fallen off. He came here for a swim at the beach. 
all these years in the gym, deadlifting for this very moment. We, we've right been here. Uh, training at the gym all year. Just training for fucking six years for this moment, try to lift this rock up. <laughs> Fuck me, that was heavy. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were moving it over there. <laughs> no! <laughs> it was in the way. Or <laughs> talk. It was actually Trained blocking. six years for that. It was blocking the path, so we had to clear it out for everyone. So we moved it over there. Furniture the movers. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hands. I told you, it was pretty Fuck painful. that hurt. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where you went. It's a bit, bit dangerous. Jesus Christ, this man's really fucking on the edge of a fucking like a 50, 60 meter drop right now. Holy fuck, it is high. You just can't get a sense of how high it is from the GoPro, but trust me, that's a good fucking 50 meters down. <laughs> what the fuck, cunt? <laughs> Holy. Now get the fuck back. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck! I'm surprised I didn't break with the fucking weight of your balls, man. <laughs> no, it's that that's fucking. That's unreal. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, don't do that of shit to me. We're just on route to climb this big cliff over in the distance. It's kind of hard to see it on the camera, but it's 3.10 p.m. at the moment, so I just want to make a note of like what time we're like kind of approaching it, just so if you want to come here and do it in the future, you kind of get an idea of like how long it takes to get up there. I'm thinking like maybe an hour. I've legit been wanting to do this for the last year as well, so I'm fucking stoked we're finally going up there now. We are approaching the entrance of this massive fucking hill. Holy shit. It's literally a seal, like right up there. It's literally a seal right there. Because they are quite used to people sort of. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't oh. want to. You don't want to get them annoyed though. <laughs> that was unreal man, I've never seen a seal that close before. I thought it was dead. Fucking Johnny nearly get bitten by it. I was like, nah, I knew it was there, I just thought it was dead. He literally went like right next to him and it started like fucking like coming towards him, so got lucky. Ooh. Good grief for getting high up in this hill right now. We just made it to the top. Oh wow. Just wow man. Holy man. Jesus. This is unreal, people. This is insane, man. Like we always say, guy, the camera does not do this justice. It never does. Keep walking down. Keep walking down this way, I reckon. And we'll see what we can see. Just look at where we are right now guys, like holy fuck, we're literally living on the edge right now. Like if you come over here where Johnny is, this is like a straight 100 meter drop down, like just look at this. Holy fuck. That's unreal man. <laughs> Just casually on the edge of like a hundred meter. What the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? That's unreal. <laughs> Holy 
So we just made it out alive from that. Oh, I've got my heart pumping a bit, to be honest. Whew. We're on the way back down at the moment and we're getting like near to where the where the seals were earlier and I just looked up the seals dangerous because I was interested and what Google said was that seals are extremely dangerous and can bite you and they can transmit viruses such as herpes. So I don't want to get bit because I don't want no fucking herpes man. We're basically right where we found the seals last time so we're kind of just like scoping the bushes and shit because I don't want to get bitten man. I don't want to get I don't want to get herpes and shit, AIDS. Nothing as of yet. I think it was like mainly over here, he was just chilling. Oh yeah, it's still there, I can see it. Where's the other one? Because there was like one, there's one over there. You, got, you guys can't really see it from here, but it's still there. So they're still here. It's one right there, and there's like one up in the bush up there. Never seen them this close, man. It's insane. Back on land now, so we left my car at about 3 10 pm. And when we got to the bottom of the track, we saw like an old couple. So we asked them, Oh, how long do you reckon it will take for us to get to the top? And then um, the guy's wife was like, Oh, it'll probably take about 45 minutes for a couple of fit, fit young gentlemen like yourself. Just cracked me up when she said that. But um, see, so we ended up getting up there at about 3 45. So it just took us 35 minutes. So depending on like your fitness level, it'll take you anywhere from like, you know, 30 minutes to 50 minutes, which isn't too bad, man. Because when you look at the hill, it looks like it's gonna take like a couple hours to get up there. So it's pretty decent. So if you, if you guys do come to Castle Point, I definitely recommend you guys going up that hill. Like the view is just insane, man. Like I've never seen anything quite like it. It's, un it's unbelievable, man. Like I always say, the camera just does not do it justice, man. It just doesn't. It's currently 5 p.m. so the plans for the rest of the evening are just got a, a nice little like two hours 45 three hour commute home to Wellington. Yeah, probably just gonna chill the rest of the night, eh? Like I may in the video here, I might not. It kind of depends on like how much footage I got from this like trip today. Like I'm not really sure like how much it is, so we'll have to see. But if you guys don't see any clips after this, then I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. That's deep, man. It's deep. Yeah. Holy. Oh no. Yeah, so we just got the car out, man. That was just a fucking absolute mission. <laughs> oh, that was a mission. That was a straight cardio workout. I was about to end the video but we're just walking down the beach and we just end up seeing this car like stuck in the sand so we just end up just running over and we just maybe helped them for like 20 plus minutes we finally got their car out man they got so so lucky with that because the sand was like so soft it was so deep there must have been like you know 10 of us just 10 rams just like pushing to get this dude out of the car and then what ended up happening was some like guy in a big SUV came over and we managed to like just tow him out. Most people would like, if they saw that car stuck, they would have just kept walking man and not really like thought anything about it. But us, they were literally just straight in there just helping them straight away, just didn't even care man. And that's just like, that's just the right thing to do man, you know? If you see someone that clearly needs help, like why are you just going to walk past them? Like just fucking run in there and start helping man, like just what you do. I'm just glad we managed to finally get them out because legit, if we didn't get them out, their car was honestly going in the water, man. The tide was coming up pretty quick. So they got so, so lucky with that. That was just such a good day, man. Like, that's going to go down the history book. So one of the best days I've had so far. Fuck, it was a mean time. But anyway, like I was saying before, we got about a two hour, 45, three hour commute back to Wellington, where we initially came from. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to end the video here or not, so... If there's nothing else after this, then yeah, I'm just going to wrap it up here. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.